day is turnaround day. I have been waiting for shore leave to be granted for the last three hours. It is now 11.29 and they've just made the announcement. Our home port is typically Ravenna. However, today we are in Trieste, Italy. So we are in a new port, which is very exciting and I don't have muster, so I have the whole day off the ship. The reason we repositioned is because of high winds. So the weather was really bad. So let's head to HR, get our shore pass and head off the ship. Cups. So cute. I want to buy this glass for iced coffee. Mm. Wouldn't that be cute? How much? I like those too. Yeah, those are nice. Fun little rings. Heart. That's cute. What's this one? Oh, cute. Cute. What is that? I want that for a white elephant. That's, yeah, this is a good place for white elephant actually. We have made it out of the shuttle bus. We are just walking around. We made it downtown. It's starting to rain and I'm very cold with my tank top on. So we're gonna have to find a jacket somewhere. What do we think? This is so cozy. I like the little cropped moment. I might need a basket. Oh yes, definitely. I bought this mug for our white elephant last week and I really want it for myself. So I think I might buy it. Or do I get the pumpkin? He's kind of evil though. This is so cute. Someone tell me I don't need this. She's cute. I'm in a spending mood right now. Well, some damage was done. I got a little carried away. Lunch time? Wow, look at that cheese. Here we go, first bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Right out of the oven into our mouths and hearts. Vlog. <laughs> we bought an umbrella. This one for three people. <laughs> A mini umbrella for three yeah. people. Actually, it's a cold brew with oat milk from the one and only Illy. Made it back on board. We had to wait for the shuttle probably 45 minutes, maybe even longer than that, honestly, because it was supposed to come every half hour. So we were there at like 4.20 waiting for the 4.30 shuttle. That's fine though, because we made it back on board in time. All aboard is at eight, but we have parade at seven. So I am just waiting to go to parade now. I'm very excited about my purchases at Flying Tiger. I stocked up on snacks basically. And then I got a few other little mini gifts for Callum because I want to make him like a welcome basket. So I wanted to make him like a small little basket for when he signs on because he signs on next turnaround. 
and I'm very, very excited. So I'm counting down the days. We are seven days away and then we will sign off together. So I am just slowly preparing for him to sign on and then I will be moving out of this cabin. So this is my last week in here as well. Also, I'm really happy with this little cropped jumper that I bought. It was kind of a spur of the moment purchase because I was so cold and it was rainy and I'm wearing literally a tank top, but it's very practical. It was only 19 euro. I mean, it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. We had a fabulous parade. It was absolutely chaotic. More chaotic than yesterday's parade, actually, if that's possible, because we've got a lot of new people in parade. We had dinner, definitely wasn't noteworthy. It's kind of sad, actually, today. I have invited myself over to Graham and Leo's, and we are having a movie night. Oh, that's what's up. I brought my glasses because I cannot see the screen without them, and I wanna see this movie very clearly. Just prepping the drinks. The beverages, not sponsored. sponsored. <laughs> Promo code zero. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from Split. It's day two of the cruise. We are off the ship. We had a divisional meeting this morning. Pretty quick, it was like 20 minutes, maybe 30 with signing papers. Um, we have it once a month at the end of the month. And I did laundry, so I had a productive morning, a little bit of editing, and today is a show day. So we have a few hours off the ship, and then we'll have to go back and get ready for shows. Hi, doggy. Time for an acai bowl, I'm so excited. <laughs> we found this place the last time we were in Split and it was really, really good so I really wanted to come back. And basically you pay for the size of the cup and then you have unlimited toppings. So I got banana, kiwi, mango, oats, peanut butter, coconut flakes. I think that's everything. I'm excited to dig in and it is gorgeous as well. Time for some coffee. Back at our usual spot. Perfection. It looks like a little heart. I decided to get a cappuccino to switch it up because I always order iced coffee and also the iced coffee was like $5.50. This was only $3.30. Mm -hmm. Made it back on board. We ended up stopping at another restaurant after acai because Graham wanted to eat more so he got a really yummy mushroom risotto, but I was full. I'm still actually full from that smoothie bowl because she loaded it up. But it's time to get ready for the shows. We have two shows tonight. It's opening night for four people in the cast. V is now gonna be a soloist. Well, she is a soloist that can also do pairs. She was doing pairs at the beginning of contract. And then Susie and Leo, it's their opening night and Marta and Toby. So it's gonna be fun and exciting and it's gonna, I'm sure, be a full house because it's first shows of the cruise. So I need to do my hair and makeup for the evening and then we will 
start with warm up presets and be on our way. finished two shows I am starving so we're waiting for show food now the shows went really good first show was I don't even know how to describe the show <laughs> show went well but the lights were a disaster right from the beginning there was like a malfunction with the motherboard so the lighting and the spots and all the projections were just completely off incorrect so it was a little more difficult to skate because it was really dark at points and it was just not where it should be but they fixed it for second show and then second show was a full house and the audience was insane so it was a really really good second show exhausted my body feels like it's been hit by a train but we're at all skates we're in studio B and we have three hours of all skates this morning nine to one so uh, 945 to one we've got the waiver set up here ice is ready to go downstairs is set up we're just waiting to open the doors yes okay <laughs> just finished with all skates I am super hungry though so I've just grabbed my spices and now I'm headed to the mess for a little bit of lunch I finally made it back to the cabin all skates was pretty chill it was like a steady flow of people but nothing too overwhelming and a lot of people did not show up for the reservation so we were able to get a lot of people basically on standby onto the ice so that went pretty fast um today i worked wristbands the last couple times i've worked all skates i was downstairs so it was a nice little change of pace and actually i got to meet a few of you guys which was awesome someone brought me hot sauce so thank you so so much if you are watching this and you brought me my giant hot sauce, that made my whole day. I'm going to be set for quite a while. I'm so excited. I've been missing my Frank's hot sauce. So thank you so much for bringing this.
been a few hours. I'm back from the gym. I had a really good gym sesh. It was a more slow paced kind of chill gym day. Even though we've been doing this show for over two months now, the day after shows is always really, really hard on my body. Like I wake up really sore and just fatigued. So I still wanted to move my body, but I didn't want to force it into like a high intensity workout or anything crazy. So I did the 12, 3, 30, but I prefer to walk on a 14 or 15 incline. And then I followed a 30 minute move with Nicole Pilates workout with weights. So I used two and a half pound weights, did that with Graham and then came back and showered. So it's just about time to head to dinner. I'm very, very hungry. Can't wait to eat. I think I'm going to make proats because I have a banana from show food last night and I bought vegan protein powder in port like two weeks ago. And then I have to head to my first day of spotlighting for the contract. So I have been dressing since my second contract. I never spotlight. I'm always a dresser backstage. So here on Explore, they have two production shows. There's ITD, Invitation to Dance, which we always help dress backstage. And then their second show is Wild, Cool, and Swinging. That one they don't need dressers for, but we do operate spotlights for them. And with our rotation, I just have not yet been on spotlights. I have not spotlighted since I was on Allure, which was many moons ago. So I am kind of excited. And also when you spotlight, you get to watch the show at the same time, which is great. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then make my way to spots. just been informed that drill for today is canceled which sounds like good news but it's actually kind of crappy news because instead of having drill today in Athens we're having it tomorrow in Santorini and tomorrow is a 7 a.m arrival and you have to get off right at 7 in order to get that first cable car up and also have the whole day there so now instead of that we're gonna have to stay on board till probably 11 11 30 and it's gonna be impossible to get a tender off the ship and the line for the cable car is going to be unbelievable so I am definitely a bit frustrated about that, but you know, it's out of our control. We can't do anything about it. I don't even know why it was canceled. Like they didn't give us any sort of information regarding that, but I'm in my blues for nothing. back from my walk. I walked for about 45 minutes and I listened to the Gals on the Go podcast. I love that podcast. But before we get off the ship, I wanted to take a moment to thank Halara for sponsoring a portion of this video. You guys know how much I love Halara. I practically live in Halara clothing, especially on the ship because I always want to be very comfortable. If you guys are in search of very affordable yet quality activewear and athleisure, Halara is the place to look. I'm so excited about this haul. I've got a bunch of new goodies and everything is so, so cute as usual. We will give you the rundown. Every single item from Halara is unbeatable. It's soft, it's durable, it's breathable, it's comfortable. Like it is everything that you want in active wear products. One of my favorite things about Halara is that they offer so many different colorways in all their products. Not to mention they also offer a wide range of sizes. So most of their items range from extra small to 3X, which is incredible. I also do have a discount code that will save you a bit of money. So you can use my code JordanB15 for 15% off 
all full price items. I'm so excited about these shorts. I have been needing a pair of basically like uniform shorts for the longest time and I just picked up these navy blue ones. These are a perfect fit. They're really comfortable, high-waisted. They've got a drawstring, there's pockets, and then they also cover my butt nicely so they're not too short and, and they're gonna be great for not only uniform but also just daily wear. Next up are a pair of biker shorts. I am a huge fan of these biker shorts. I already own them in a like leopard print so I wanted to get just a classic black pair. They are so soft. There's pockets, they're high-waisted, and they are like the perfect length on me. They're very flattering on the bum, very nice and fitted but not too too tight. Huge fan of biker shorts and I absolutely love these ones. These are a personal favorite of mine and definitely worth adding to your cart. Next up are these leggings. I think the color is so freaking cute. You guys know I love a pop of color. The fit of these is incredible. These are an updated version, so they have made some improvements to their previous legging. The material in the waistband has a tummy control panel, so it's actually doubled in fabric. And of course, you've got pockets on the sides, and if you don't love this blue color, there are plenty of other options to choose from. Next pair of leggings we've got are these gorgeous coral ones. I think this is my favorite color of leggings that I own now. I already own these leggings in a few other colors. Once again, I got the 7 8 crop, so they are full length on me. They are a perfect fit, super, super smooth. Like, I wish you could feel how buttery soft these are. And I absolutely love the waistline. It's just very flattering. It's kind of like that V crossover line. I basically live in these leggings. These are the softest leggings you will ever find. They're so comfortable. You can literally wear them for an entire day long and sleep in them if you wanted to. They're so comfortable. This is the perfect fall plum color. So once again, same design, same V waistline. You've got the pockets on the side. Very comfortable, very flexible, very soft. This top is giving everything it needs to give. This is offered in a few different colors, so check it out if this is not your vibe, but I am fully in love with this top. I just love the little twist detail, the cutout, the fit, like everything is exceptional. Next up is this top right here. I decided to get it in teal because I just thought it was different from anything I have right now and it was just really pretty. The fit is beautiful. It's got built-in paddings but you can remove them if you want and it just fits like a glove so I'm really happy with this find as well and I definitely will be getting this in other colors in the future. You guys know that I couldn't go a haul without buying something pink. This just screams Barbie to me and I love how oversized it is so you you could even size up if you want but I just got my true to size it is so soft and really warm so this will keep me warm in crew areas when the AC is blasting really excited to get a lot of use out of this you know how much I love pink and I was just really really excited when I found this on the website next up is something that is very out of my comfort zone but I think it is so cute and kind of sexy so this can double up as both a workout top for skating or even a going out top like I could style this with with jeans and some heels and I feel like that would be such a moment. I, I want this in multiple colors. I think it's just so cute and it's gonna be fun for both nighttime wear and working out. I decided to pick up this top. I have this top already in one color and I have been eyeing this color up for a few months now so I decided to get it. So this is what the front looks like. I really love the wide band. And then the back is really cool because it is a crisscross detail and then you actually can tie a bow at the bottom. And last up is this waffle knitted cropped zip up. I actually already own this in white and I get so much use out of it so I decided to get it in another color. So this jacket is going to be perfect for a coffee run, errands, things like that, or just a regular day on the ship. You can wear it open or closed and there are also drawstrings. So overall really really love this jacket and gonna get a ton of use out of it. A huge thank you to Halara again for sponsoring this video. Of course this is sponsored but all opinions are my own as always. So once again use my code JordanB15 for 15% 15 off Halara products. I really can't decide which item is my favorite so leave me a comment below which one you like the best. I'm definitely going to pick one of my new items to wear for warm-up ice today but first let's get off the ship. Let's get some lunch and some groceries.
hope you can hear me. We have made it to East Coast. This is the place I found, I think, yesterday. And it's super cute. They're playing some like hip hop kind of music. I ordered Eggs Benedict, and then we're splitting the chocolate waffle. And I'm very excited, I'm very hungry. We're just sitting outside in the shade. I didn't get coffee because they don't have oat milk. So we might have to stop at Starbucks and get a fall drink. But we'll see if we have time for that. Look at this Eggs Benedict. On your cheeks Cause baby in your absence Life is boring So I'll never leave mm -hmm. Lunch was A solid 9 out of 10 for me The only thing I would have changed Is that the music wasn't playing so loud But everything else was Phenomenal I thoroughly enjoyed it I'm really happy we found that spot And very affordable as well Like we split that French toast, and then I had my Eggs Benedict, and that cost me 11 euro. 11 euro. There's nothing like the way that you adore me. I can feel love from miles away. And the light in your eyes tells me stories of life. Here's a quick haul of everything I got at the grocery store. I've just laid everything out. So first I got a restock of oat milk, some Greek yogurt, some hummus, avocados, blueberries. I've had these crackers in Mykonos on the beach and they were really yummy. So I just got two of those. Some peanut butter for protein balls when I move out. And then I got these glass jars to store like dry oats and granola. They were a euro each, which was really good. And then lastly, I got two throw blankets, one for Callum and one for myself. I'm going to add this to his little basket. And then I got him also a whiteboard because we both like to write down our like to-do list and stuff. So we each have our own now and I'm also gonna put this in the basket and I'm very excited about the basket. It's coming together nicely. I've got about an hour to chill now. I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, maybe read my book and then we will start to get ready for showtime. let me tell you it is 12 15 i am just about to get off the ship today we are in santorini they rescheduled our drill for this morning but they didn't even start till 10 o'clock and we just finished 10 to noon so it was excessively long really just i don't know why we did it today because it's a tender so we're not even like docked as you can tell i'm a little bit irritated about this situation but I'm still going to attempt to get off. Hopefully the tenders aren't too crazy now and we can get off easily and I don't know, just explore a bit. I just want to spend a few hours out in Santorini and we have a late all aboard. So I do need to come back earlier to make sure that I can get one of the tenders back before all aboard, but I have until like seven o'clock. So we'll spend a few hours out, maybe have a bite to eat, maybe have a coffee. We'll see where the day takes us. This is my little outfit for the day. I'm wearing a swimsuit underneath and then these like 
mesh pants. It's really hot outside, so I feel like this is a this is the best option for today. And if I want to take a dip, I've already got a swimsuit on. Be careful. Thank you. To be honest, the line could be worse. Like this is better than what I expected it to be. I can get you off my mind and you can't tell me this don't feel right yet. I know that you want me. We're off the ship. Actually, we didn't wait too long for the cable car. It was probably like a 20 minute wait. And then we went pretty much straight up. So now we're just walking around Fira. We wanted to go to Ia, but I don't think we have enough time with like factoring in cable car down or walking down and tendering back. There are so, so, so many people here. We've made it back to the same spot I came last time, but the Euro did not disappoint. So we're gonna order the same thing this time. Everything but no onion. Is Guido artist. Thank you. Hello. Hello. And five to the right. And... <laughs> <laughs> Time to go down. And I definitely do not have the best shoes for today. I don't know why I didn't wear sneakers. Hi, donkeys! Just the two of us. Soosh. I'm super excited. Don't know what I'm gonna order yet. We'll figure it out when we get there. Cause they usually get the same fixed price thing, but now they've switched it a bit. So I might get something different, but I'm wearing my newish dress from Weisho? Weisho? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's full length with my nude heels. We're gonna head up there and we're gonna have sushi. I have a white shirt on. <laughs> and blue pants. of all skates this morning from 9 30 to 1 so i'm just gearing up to head to studio b now i have just made my coffee it is national coffee day so i was kind of hoping i could get a free coffee from the crew bar but that's just not a thing here because i got an email for duncan saying that i can get a free iced or hot coffee today but unfortunately we're at sea so that's not possible I did, however, get a little bit of coconut syrup from the barista at the crew bar. So today I'm making an iced coconut oat milk latte. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is here, so we're skating <laughs> in the all skates. The blades have like no rocker on them whatsoever or sharpening. Welcome to Studio B. <laughs> learned 
literally two days ago that Graham does not like Coke Zero and I keep buying him Coke Zeros at the bar and he just built the courage like two days ago I don't like conflict. Me. I don't like conflict. But I love chaos. <laughs> it's a few hours later. Graham and I watched a movie. Oh, the Broken Hearts Gallery. The Broken Hearts Gallery. Much better than the movie we watched yesterday. <laughs> um, and now we are in the theater because it's bingo and raffle time. And I am coming home with the iPad. So the first game is the blue cards. Your blue cards, okay? Any blue card with the T. Next number will be B8. I did not win the iPad, sadly. But that's okay. It was fun to try. I also was one away from winning bingo the first round, like immediately. Like they called four numbers and I got all four numbers. I It just wasn't my lucky day. I didn't win anything, but it was fun. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna get into bed and we've got parade rehearsals at 8.30 in the morning tomorrow. So we will see you in the morning. This is the most beautiful view I've ever seen in my life. And nobody is here, it's just us. Oh my gosh. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we were at the beach over there and we kind of scoped out this from afar, but I didn't realize we'd have it all to ourselves. This is, a, there's a tarp for some shade. We can lay in the sun, we can jump. That's quite high, but I would like to jump. I think my mom would kill me, but I cannot believe this. It is so beautiful. Are you going for it? We did it. It was awesome. The adrenaline rush is, is coming down now, but I'm happy we we jumped. It's not even that high. Like divers on the ships are probably like, this is nothing. But for us, it's a big deal. <laughs> I just went to put my sunglasses on and they just completely burst on me. Cannonball. Not a cannonball, but a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good jump though. There's a pencil. I am back from lunch. It was a pretty solid lunch. I mean, you can't go wrong with the yogurt parfait. And now I am gonna head up to the gym. I'm gonna do a workout. I actually am kind of craving like a HIIT workout. So maybe I'll follow a Chloe Ting video. It's been a very long time since I did HIIT. And then I want to do an incline walk as usual. So I think that's gonna be my plan for the day. It is about two o'clock right now and I have parade at 510. So I think I'll spend probably like an hour at the gym. Little recap on today, how epic was that? Like I sometimes can't believe my life. Like that was such a fun little spot. And the fact that we had it to ourselves was even more amazing. And yeah, just another insane, unreal day. I feel like every day just keeps topping the previous one. Yeah, I'm just very thankful as always. Anyways, enough of the mush. Let's head upstairs and let's get our workout in. It's Royal Palooza time. These are the presets, believe it or not. It looks like they've just been dropped on the floor, but that is actually presets for us. <laughs> How are we doing? 
really good. my jean shorts just hanging to dry. I'm currently doing laundry and the washing machine did not wring out my clothes so this is now the third time that I'm trying to dry my clothes and they're just not, they're not drying. So I'm gonna be up late doing that. But thank you guys for tuning in for a week in my life. It's been a very, very eventful week. I'm gonna get to bed. I'm actually moving cabins tomorrow. Callum signs on tomorrow so it's a very, very exciting turnaround day and of course I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride but I love you guys to the moon and back I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next one bye guys